When it comes to video games, bugs and glitches are inevitable, especially a game like Fortnite where things are continually being changed. Sometimes we won't know about them for months until they get discovered. Most only have a minor effect, but some are so significant they can have a considerable impact on the outcome of our games. What's going on everybody, my name is Dan, and these are six of the most game-breaking and impactful glitches plaguing Fortnite Chapter 2. If you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, click the link below to go to ProGuides.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuides and you'll get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players. We're talking guys like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuides.com. And be sure to drop a like on this video to show us your support. We really appreciate it. So when Chapter 2 was initially released, it didn't take long for players to discover one of the first instant death spots on the map. Within the first few hours of release, we saw the likes of Cypher PK, Tim the Tapman, Dr. Lupo, and plenty of others fall victim to this phantom killer near Frenzy Farm. Go oh, in there! Wait, where? In there! Oh, no! What the hell? Don't, no, 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 I was in the box, just don't... Now, luckily for us, Epic saw this happen and fixed the problem ASAP, so no worries, Frenzy Farm is safe now. Well, from the instant death spot anyways, you still got those other 10 players dropping with you to worry about. But soon after the bug was fixed, another death spot was discovered. At Craggy Cliffs, inside the butcher's shop, if you break the floor tiles, it reveals a large opening that seems like a pathway to the beach. Fall down there and, you guessed it, you'll meet your demise. Now, this one isn't as bad since you've gotta go a bit out of your way to find it, and once you know it's there, you won't ever fall for it again. But it's still causing problems for those interested players discovering it. One user on Reddit said they spent a whole cash cup game looting and farming only for them to fall down and lose their game. There are confirmed reports of players succumbing to the death hole in Arena, and we can only imagine how many frustrating cases have gone unreported. Not only is it an instant death spot, but there's actually a way to get down there and survive. We won't explain how, because you're not supposed to be down there, guys, but hopefully, with the potential for abuse, Epic will patch this hole up quick. And just in case you're wondering why these death spots even exist, Epic adds them to areas you're not intended to be at, like underneath the map, for instance. This helps prevent people from exploiting and reaching those less than fair spots. But sometimes, developers make mistakes. And in those situations, Epic blundered quite a bit. As of making this video, the Craggy Cliff spot hasn't been fixed yet. But with luck, Epic gets on it and stops it from killing off all you curious players. Oh, and we will be announcing our 5,000 V-Bucks giveaway super soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Next up is the render issues. Now, where do we start with this one? I'm sure almost everyone has experienced this game ruining bug at least once in their Fortnite career. If you haven't yet, consider yourself lucky. Basically, as you're flying in at the start of the game, large structures like buildings or houses don't load properly. What you get is a really mushy Play-Doh looking environment that you can't interact with at all. You won't be able to enter buildings and navigate them to find the loot you need. Your whole early game falls apart because of it. All you can do is hope the structures will eventually load in. And this has been going on for over a year now. All the way back to the previous seasons, it's been an issue. Some people are saying installing a solid state drive fixes the problem, but it doesn't seem to solve it definitively. So it looks like the weaker your device is, the higher your chance of it happening is. But then again, the issues can sometimes be seen even on PCs, so chances are that it's a problem with both the system you play on and the game itself. Epic constantly tries to fix these issues, but they always seem to come back eventually. Players are reporting that the launch of Chapter 2 was beautiful, but once Fort Nightmares began, buildings started not loading in again. As if console players don't have enough issues, they have laggy frame rates, weapons not appearing in their inventory, desync, and a whole lot of other problems. It's really on Epic to fix these this season, or else player enjoyment is going to suffer. Has it happened to you guys so far, or are you one of the lucky ones? Let us know in the comments below. The next glitch allows you to fish almost anywhere on the map. That's right, no water necessary. To perform it, aim your crosshair all the way down and cast your fishing rod directly underneath your feet. Your rod will connect underground just as if you were casting on water. Once you hear a bite, you can reel in the line for a chance at small fries, some ammo, or even a rare weapon. It has to be on natural ground and with a fishing rod though, so you can't do it in buildings or any other place where you'd hit a structure, and you can't do it with the new harpoon gun. Cross your fingers that this bug gets fixed soon, because there's definitely some room for abuse, at least in competitive. Players or teams can box up during any downtime, like when they're waiting to rotate during the late game, and just keep fishing to stock up on ammo, materials, and those sweet healing fish. Maybe even a Rusty they can chuck at someone. 
But all jokes aside, it's from behind the safety of cover, making it quite powerful given the right situation. As for casual play though, you're not boxing up for protection quite as often, so you could just fish like usual or go look for loot and you'll probably be better off. We gotta warn you guys though, clearly fishing underground isn't intended, so using this bug could be considered exploiting. Abusing exploits is against the rules and may result in punishment. Chances are you won't get banned or anything, but we wouldn't risk it. Don't use this in game. Besides, it's not even that valuable of a trick. If we're honest, it's mostly just kinda funny seeing someone fish on land, right? This next bug has been tormenting controller players for months on end now, and that glitch is not being able to place traps. They just don't work at all. I mean, you can pull them out, see the blue outline, but going to set the traps does nothing. Man, I can't even imagine all the times this must have screwed people over. Just think about it. You take so much risk going for trap plays, you expect them to go off, and for it not to work is essentially a death sentence. You'll lose the game and look like a complete fool to your opponent. Luckily for every controller player out there, Reddit user Jano00 made a video detailing the source of the problem. Apparently, the game prioritizes interacting with items over placing a trap, even though you wouldn't be able to pick it up. So if at any point there's a loot indicator on your screen, your trap won't place. Epic was probably aware of the bug, they just didn't know the cause. This post detailed just that, so it caught their attention and now they're investigating. Thanks to Jano, we'll all shortly be able to place traps freely. Well, assuming they fix it. It's getting fixed, right? Speaking of trap glitches, this next one allows you to place a damaged trap in your opponent's box from the outside. To do it, you need at least two traps in your inventory. First, take control of the floor piece on top, then place a cone and edit it into a ramp facing your direction. Pull out your traps, aim at the middle of the edited cone, right at that thick line, and place your traps as fast as you humanly can. If you do it correctly, you should not only set a trap on top of the floor piece, but also underneath it as well. Obviously, this glitch has some crazy potential for abuse. Typically, if you take control of someone's pieces, you need to edit for the kill, which exposes you as well. But with this, they might sit there waiting for a shot until all of a sudden there's a trap inside their box. You used to not even need the cone piece. Epic fixed that at one point, but eventually people figured out that you could add the cone and still pull it off. Did someone say free kill? Because that's what this bug pretty much is. Just like with the fishing glitch, this one is an apparent exploit. It requires a specific setup, so it's not like you'll do it by accident, and because of that, you're so much more likely to get punished using it. It might be tempting, but guys, please don't use it in a match. Plus, it's super cheap to do something like this. Don't be that guy. If you'd rather help out the Fortnite community and see this long-lasting bug come to an end, you can do your part by submitting a bug report in-game. With enough attention, hopefully Epic can get this one patched before the season ends. Just like how reporting the other trap bug. But if no one acknowledges it, it's just gonna stay in the game and a select group of players will abuse it every chance they get. When reboot vans were introduced back in Season 8, players rejoiced. Finally, we were able to bring back our fallen allies. There were some minor problems with them at first, like with the invincibility, not being able to see newly spawned players, or getting booted from the game while using them. These have all been fixed, but there's still one big problem that's causing trouble. Basically, whenever you get respawned, there's a minuscule chance you won't be able to sprint, shoot, or swing your pickaxe for the entire rest of the game. You can still build for the most part, but only with 100 wood, no method to harvest, and no way to retaliate. You can imagine just how painful it'd be to play out the rest of that match. Not only that, but we're reading instances of builds not working and players not being able to aim down sights as well. So there seems to be a variety of issues that can come up whenever you're rebooted. No one really knows what causes these bugs, if it's something that can be reproduced on our end or if it's just randomly occurring. Regardless of how it happens, it's not a pleasant experience. To go from being happy you're getting respawned to frustrated you can't do anything would ruin it for the majority of us. Of course, reboot vans play a large part in squad gameplay, which is huge right now. With the FNCS, Friday Night Fortnite, and Squad Hype Nights, most of these events can potentially be ruined by these bugs. Even if it's not a big tournament, who cares? Reboot vans are a core part of gameplay now, so there can't be a game-breaking glitch like this. And since it's been around for ages, who knows when it'll get fixed? Maybe Epic needs to hire a mechanic to take a look at those vans. But really, all we can hope is that Epic or some wonderful contributor finds the reason behind all this. That way, it can get fixed and we won't have to worry about reboot vans not bringing us fully back. Glitches are an awful experience, especially in Battle Royale when you've only got one life to work with. Despite the crazy amount of new content, Epic's been doing a pretty good job this last month fixing things left and right. I mean, depending on when you're watching this, I'm sure some of these are resolved already. Hopefully, all of them. And of course, new ones introduced. But, uh, hey, you know, they can't be perfect. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. We really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to use code PROGUIDES when you make any sort of purchases. It really helps us out and we really do appreciate it. 
Comment down below what you thought about this video and also what you'd like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and show ProGuides.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Once again, it's your host, Dan. You can find me everywhere at, at Daniel Ammerman, and we'll see you on the next one.